My name is Eric Paler. I'm an assistant professor of classics at the University of Massachusetts. I study Roman architecture, and in particular uh, at Pompeii, I study uh, infrastructure and traffic system, but also how uh, large buildings are put together, like the quadriporticus that you can see we're at today. We're very multidisciplinary. Um, in the quadriporticus, we don't do any excavation, and that's intentional. Um, we don't excavate, not because that's not a, a really excellent way to get at information, it's that it's a very expensive way to get at information. And our building, uh, just the interior of it, just this open space that you see amongst the, the, the columns, is 1,500 square meters in the inside. To excavate something that large would just be a monumental task. Um, and uh, so instead, we started to use techniques that are um, non-destructive. And that's our goal for the Quadroporticus research. We uh, analyze the architecture. Uh, and so we don't do any excavation there. We analyze the architecture, we record it, and uh, we draw it, and we create digital matrices of that as well. The, the technology um, that we use here is from the, from the kind of the ground up, in the sense that we, as archaeological projects, for, 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 for decades now, have been using very high-end um, instrumentation. So whether it's, whether it's a computer in, in, in your office or in the library, or right to the, uh, a total station, which is a, an a piece of engineering and architectural uh, equipment. Um, but that has typically been the realm of the specialist on an archaeological project. The advent of the tablet computer, however, meant that with things like the, you know, the, uh, the iPad, which we use here, it meant that we were able to bring technology right down, not just into the trench, but into the hands of every member of the team. With our tablet computer, the iPads, uh, we've been able to completely revolutionize the work that we're doing here at Pompeii. So where once we'd done everything pretty traditionally and uh, with, with, with paper and pen, etc., now all of our data is recorded, and all of it is recorded directly into our, our digital data sets, which has made things a lot, lot faster to record information, a lot more dynamic. We can record a lot more stuff uh, more cleanly. The information is much more more clean and uh, it's also more robustly stored because it goes straight into our, our servers and we have a series of servers existing out there in, in, in cyberspace uh, which means that it's immediately accessible. We integrate uh, other digital methods um, that are basically can be grouped into an imaging uh, category. So we use ground penetrating radar to look below the ground where the Romans would have walked to see what had happened there so that we don't have to excavate. We can get a glimpse, a, a rough hazy glimpse compared to excavation of what has actually happened down there. And we were very shocked to learn um, that there's almost nothing underneath this open area. This is one of the largest spaces, open spaces in Pompeii. And it looks very much, we need to dig it to confirm this, but it looks very much like from the 200 years of its life, nothing happened in this space. It was one of the most durable places in Pompeii. And that's fascinating.